New Jersey beekeepers are not reporting the kinds of massive honeybee losses seen in some parts of the country, but they are taking precautions. The phenomenon called colony collapse disorder, viewed as a major threat to agricultural production, is still unexplained. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. New Jersey's beekeeping community ranges from the Pinelands to the northern suburbs and from large-scale crop pollination businesses to hobbyists like Mark Robinson, who started in 2006 and now cares for seven honeybee colonies. I like to, you know, increase my hives to get more honey. I like honey, and that's why I'm doing it, basically. <laughs> As spring approaches, a critical time for all of them, state apiarist Tim Schuler has been making the rounds. I'm trying to get a handle on what the winter loss was in New Jersey. The experienced beekeepers are telling me they're less than 10 percent so far. They have some colonies that are weaker that aren't really quite as strong, um, but I haven't been hearing that, uh, you know, that they're experiencing 50 and 70 percent death loss. However, there are beekeepers other places in the United States that are. Nationwide, Schuler says the honeybee population has dropped to half of what it was 50 years ago, while the need for pollination services keeps growing. The latest strain on this vital workforce is named for its effect, colony collapse, because its cause remains unknown. Suspects include parasites, viruses, pesticides, and poor nutrition, and some beekeepers are experimenting with changes in breeding, feeding, and care. Meanwhile, the Agriculture Department and Rutgers University are making it easier for novices to get started. If they're a New Jersey resident over the age of 10 who's never been a beekeeper before and they successfully take this program, it will entitle them to uh, a beekeeping setup with uh, boxes and bottom boards as well as their uh, first nucleus hive of bees. By increasing the number of beekeepers and the diversity of honeybee operations, the experts hope to buy time for finding causes and cures. It's proving to be a very difficult problem to solve. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Southampton.